How can we identify a gas if we can neither see, smell, or touch it? How can we determine the uses of various gases? And what safety precautions should be taken when handling different gases? Gases such as carbon dioxide, oxygen, and hydrogen have many practical uses and are present in abundant quantity in our environment. In order to identify these gases, scientists rely on their characteristic properties. A characteristic property is a distinctive trait that can be observed. Think of a characteristic property of a gas as its personality. For example, some gases will have explosive personalities while others will not. The objective of this lab is to identify the properties of three gases commonly found in your environment. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, and hydrogen. The materials that you'll need for this lab are three test tubes containing CO2, H2, and O2, matches, wooden splints, and lime water. Three unknown gases have been collected. Using the characteristic properties, or the gases' personalities, we must identify them as CO2, H2, or O2. Test 1. Light the wooden splint. Bring the flame close to the unknown gas. If a small explosion is heard, the gas is probably hydrogen. Test 2. Light the wooden splint. Extinguish it, but keep the tip glowing. Insert the glowing tip into the test tube containing the unknown gas. If the splint glows brighter or ignites, the gas is probably oxygen. Test 3. Pour a small quantity, approximately 10 milliliters, of lime water into the container. Close the container and shake. If the lime water becomes cloudy or milky, the gas is probably carbon dioxide. How are we able to identify the three gases in this lab? Create a hypothesis explaining your observations. What characteristic properties or personalities do the gases show? It is worth noting that if your results are inconclusive, then the experiment will need to be repeated. For example, if two different tests are positive for the same gas, then repeating the experiment will eliminate the possibility of human error. Hopefully, you will now be able to identify various gases using the procedures in this video.